Hi there, welcome to our XConnect series. Today we're going to learn about deleting inactive contacts. Now, there's a lot of scenarios where you've got contacts that are just sitting there taking up data in the database. And you need to know, how am I going to find these and get rid of them? So I can save some money on cost, but also make sure I have the most relevant data. We're going to take a look at the delete API in XConnect for doing that. The delete API for XConnect focuses on a single contact or multiple contacts. In this tutorial that's uploaded to GitHub, you'll be able to see how we go about deleting a single contact. In this particular instance, we have created a single contact. Now we are passing that in to the API, and now we invoke the client with that operation. Easy as that contact is deleted and removed from the XDB. Now, what if you wanted to delete more than one? Well, we're generating a bunch here. We've got five. Now we're going to go in here, and we are going to start looking at each one and deleting them. So a contacts collection is passed in, and in this case with the code, it's going to loop over each one of those. For every single contact in the list, it adds the delete contact operation to the client. Then we go on to the next one in the list, and we add that operation again for the next contact. We keep doing this for each contact in the list until we've reached the full list of contacts. Now, once we've got all of them in there, we can finally invoke the client and operate the batch delete. We can now look at what are the operation results. Hey, there we are, succeeded, succeeded, succeeded. Now we've deleted all the five contacts we just generated. So as we can see, the actual delete operation is quite simple. You give it a contact, call delete, execute. Straightforward. The question is, how do we figure out which contacts are inactive? We're going to take a look at a method that shows you how to execute that type of a search. In the tutorial code, there's a get contact IDs by last activity method. This shows you how you can invoke a query against the index and find contacts. The first thing we need to do is make sure that we have contact expand options. I want to be able to search for contacts based on their activity, so I need to pull back the interactions. And in this case, I've got to set that up so I can get the most recent ones. The second thing we need to do is to actually build up the query that we want to run. I want to operate against the contacts collection and then set up a where clause. Here I want to look for any contacts that don't have any interactions at all or contacts that do have interactions but there hasn't been any since a specific point in time. Once I have a query, I need to run it. At this point we haven't executed anything. So now I'm going to invoke it against an enumerator and start going through a batch of them. For each one, just keep collecting all those contact IDs that come back from my search. Now, I've got an actual list that I can now use to build up my delete query. So make sure you're focusing in on this when you start building up your queries for how you want to clean up your data. Thanks for listening. Make sure to tune in to hashtag LearnPsychor to get more updates from the community.